Here we have the next amino acid, amino acid 3, bound to its tRNA. Again, it requires that elongation factor bound to GTP, and as the third amino acid tRNA enters this complex now, after the translocation, the GTP is hydrolyzed to GTP and inorganic phosphate again. We can throw in that second elongation factor that regenerates the GTP, just to remind you that you have to do that if you want the process to continue, right? Now we had this original tRNA, and if we're looking at the beginning of elongation, this would be the tRNA for F-methionine. It was sitting in the E site, and as you saw, it just left that ribosome. And that's going to be necessary so that you can begin the next round of elongation. It doesn't show it in this slide, but the next step, of course, will be to transfer the dipeptide, that is AA2-F-met, to AA3. And now that's not shown, but if you want to draw this for yourself to see what's going on, you can. There is a transfer of this dipeptide from the transfer RNA in the P-site now to amino acid 3 to make another peptide bond. And of course then the cycles continue. 